And that is not just a measure at one point as driving point impedance does, but that is measure of power on space, X and T, right? But what I'm emphasizing now, this driving point impedance is the ratio between pressure and velocity, and this intensity is multiplication of pressure and intensity, and the two cases have handles two different physical variables. Therefore, we have to understand the relation between two physical variables, magnitude difference, phase difference. What does it mean by the phase difference between pressure and velocity in intensity? What we will see the physical behavior of a medium if we measure intensity. In other words, what intensity really, really make us to see what's going on in acoustic field. Right? So that's today's topic. Okay. And another one is, valuable one is, we can measure intensity by just using two microphones, as I mentioned earlier. We can measure P, of course, using microphone. And we can measure velocity by using Euler equation. Because Euler equation says, unbalanced force or pressure gradient in space really moves the fluid that has a density rho zero in this way. So what we can actually do is using two microphones that has distance data as P1, P2, then this can be approximated by P2 minus P1 delta x. And then I multiply rho zero. OK, then I integrated this. This will give me the velocity at x and time. OK, then I can measure it. The assumption is that these two microphones has to be dynamically identical. In other words, when I when I fed some si same signal, okay, same signal over here, for example, sine omega t, then no, no, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Same signal sine omega t, then the response of microphone has to be same. Okay? That's the, uh, what essentially uh, intensity probe essentially uh, does. Okay. Now, let's consider the sound intensity of duct that has infinite lengths. Okay. Suppose I have a duct, I have a piston, and that is oscillating. This is infinite. And suppose I have a duct that has a finite length, L, and rigid end. And I want to see what the pressure look like, velocity look like, intensity look like, and the energy look like. 
of this system. And also, I want to look at pressure, velocity, intensity, energy of this finer system. Okay? In compare with the infinite string and a finer string case. Because for the string that has impedance, boundary condition like this, would give us the driving point impedance somewhere in between this and this, or combination of those things. By the same token, we would like to see what's going on on this infinite case and the finite case to understand general uh, case. Okay? So, in this case, we can say the pressure xt, that means I am employing the coordinate x over here. would be like a P0 cosine omega t, sorry, P0 cosine omega t minus kx. So that means I want to see the sound, sound, sound pressure with respect to time. Right? If I want to see the sound pressure with respect to x, then I will write the, the argument as kx minus omega t. Okay. That's what written in the text. And then press the velocity this can be obtained by using Euler equation. Right? Okay, let us try to get the velocity using Euler equation. Okay, to do that I have to differentiate the pressure with respect to space force, and this one gives me P0, and I am differentiating this with respect to x will give me minus k, and the differentiating cosine with respect to x will give me minus, and the cosine changes to sine. Right? So that will be what? P0 k sine omega t minus kx. And then, oh, I think I made a mistake again. Minus, this minus has to come over here. Okay, thank you. Then, what I have to do to get the velocity using Euler equation, what I have to do is I have to divide this by rho zero. And then integrated it with respect to time. Okay. 